Hey guys, it's Payne, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to take a look ahead, even though there's a lot going on right now. I want to take a look ahead to tomorrow on Friday for a big time SBC player of the month that could be coming out. Player of the month, Messi, could be coming out on Friday. So I want to talk about that, talk about the SBC, possible link investments, rating of that card, how much it might cost, and of course, what that could do to the market. But then also, I want to circle back and talk about rewards today. We're heading into rewards. Fodder has dropped off a little bit. Um, people are waiting for their rewards to go out and do that base or mid icon player pick pack. We have got upgrades on price ranges and our first ever what if card being upgraded. And Babu has been out and upgraded. They finally uh, boosted Holland to a 90 as well. So I want to talk about that. So there's a lot going on in the video today. So buckle in, get ready. I got the polo on, right? We mean business. Let's talk about player of the month Messi because every time there's an SBC for Messi in this game, there's people that are interested in it and there's always people that want to complete it. Now, Messi is in the voting. It's behind my face cam. You can't see it. I've shown you guys this screen before. This voting uh, finished, I think, at the end of the month. On the 28th, I think this closed. And usually, looking back, both El Nezri and Aspas, the last two La Liga player of the month were released on Friday. So with that expectation in mind, we are expecting player of the month Messi to drop tomorrow. Now, of course, Messi this year has got three special cards. He's got the inform, the team of the group stage, and the team of the year. Now, last year, we had a player of the month Messi as well. It was this 96 rated right wing card. And this was a very highly touted SBC because this was the first ever Messi SBC to grace FIFA, the first ever Messi player of the month, first ever Messi SBC. Now, the only issue with this was last year we had a 95 rated inform, a 95 team of the year nominee, and a 96 rated team in the group stage. And I've seen a lot of concept cards for this player of the month Messi, this one included, and they're giving him a 96. This year though, just like last year, it looks like EA could either go one or two ways here. EA could either make player of the month Messi a 95 and equal the rating, of the team of the group stage, or they can make it 96 and up that by one. I honestly don't know what that what makes the decision here. Maybe it's just if they know they're going to give uh, Messi more special cards throughout the rest of the year. Of course, last year he got that team of the season card. He did did get a shapeshifters and he got a second player of the month along with the team of the week moments. But when EA released the this this SBC in December, they definitely weren't thinking about having to do the whole team of the week moment stuff with COVID that went on. So um, I think this year, they could, I could very easily see EA going both ways, at either 95 or 96 rated. But I, I want to do point one thing out. Messi, and this goes for all player of the month, not, player of the months, not just Messi. This concept card here is shown as a center forward, but Messi's player of the month most likely will be a right wing because when they release player of the months, they usually put them out in the position that their base card is in. So Messi POTM should be a right wing. Now, again, whether you think it's going to be 95 or 96, I do think that impacts the price. Fodder is very expensive at the moment, right? We all know it's expensive because of that mid prime pack. We'll talk about that. But with this SBC in mind from last year, the 96 Messi, and knowing what these informs and what this team the group stage and the team of the year cost right now on fifa for fifa 21 i think that ea could kind of go either way here with how they they price messi and i also think it'll give us a little glimpse into the future of what they maybe even plan to do with SBC fodder. So right now, again, this messy team, the group stage card is about 1.7 million coins. It has dropped off a lot with the market as a whole has dropped off a lot, a lot of panic selling, a lot of crashing going on on this game right now. Uh, but I think people are starting to sell out this messy a little bit because they expect player of the month coming on Friday. I think if they make messy a 95 rated right wing, uh, you will probably see that SBC somewhere priced between 1.75 and like 2.25 mil. That's my opinion, right? I think if it is a 95 right wing, EA never make these cheap, right? Last year, the Messi 96 rated play of the month uh, when it was released was 2.1 million coins. It dropped down to 1.8, 2.1, and it's kind of, you know, fluttered between 1.8 to 2.1 while it was out. I believe that was about the same price or around the same price as this 96 Messi that was out too. So in December, this Messi was like 2.1. December 20th is when that card came out, which is around the same time 
that this one came out. He was 2.1 on December 12th. So this SBC was just a smidge cheaper than that 96 Team of the Group Stage card. But I think this year with how expensive SBC fodder is, you're going to see the messy SBC be a little bit more expensive than this current Team of the, or sorry, Team of the Tournament, Team of the Group Stage messy because think about it this way, right? This also might give us a little bit of a plan or a little bit of like a future and some insight onto what EA plans to do with SBC fodder because they know this is going to be a big SBC. If they make Messi cheap, right? Cheap for right now, like 1.5 mil is what I would kind of say would be cheap. If they make him 95 or 96 rated, if it's a 96 rated card under 2 mil, that's, in my opinion, kind of a W with how expensive SBC fodder is right now. And if they make a 95 rated Messi under like 1.6, basically cheaper than this card, um, then I think that means EA will look to keep fodder higher for like the next month because they know if fodder drops off a decent amount. I mean, right now we have 86 rated cards in this game, right? I, I look at the 86s all the time. These are kind of like the middle ground for SBCs because they're smack dab in the middle. Some people use them for 84 squads. Some people use them in 89 squads. These 86 rated cards, Thomas Muller is 39 or 40,000 coins. 40k. These guys were higher a couple days ago too, yesterday. 40k for Muller. Can we just look at his graph for a second and can I tell you, you guys know how high this is, but this dude was 25k last week and that was even pretty high. Now imagine if SBC fodder dropped, uh, you know, back down to like these 86s were back down at like 30,000 coins. And, you know, you talk about all other high rated fodder right now that is through the freaking roof. You look at 91 rated cards that are 135k you know, that used to be like 80 or 90,000 coins. Oblock was 85K last week. And we were like, wow, that's pretty expensive. Imagine what that would do to a messy player of the month card. If they released this messy and he's worth 2 million coins right now, how much cheaper he would be worth throughout his 30 day time period. Um, if fodder were to drop off. So you might, we might be able to kind of figure out what EA is going to do with fodder or what they plan to do with it as a whole. Um, over the next month by how much this messy player of the month costs. So that's going to be the most interesting thing to me on Friday. But regardless, if you want to do messy player of the month, I do not think fodder can withstand this high of a price that long. Again, with more promos coming out every Friday, we don't have mid icon player picks. This is a brand new SBC that we've never seen before. I do think fodder is going to settle off. Maybe not back down for like 20,000 coins for 86s, but maybe 86 is going back to 30 K. I think is pretty legitimate and pretty, reasonable. So I, that would make me think that if you're one thing to do player of the month messy, you want to wait as long as possible to do it. But that also makes me think EA might overprice it. Now, I guess if we want to talk really quick about what's going to happen if they release Messi, people are going to go out and link invest right away. This is going to be the first card they go ahead and try to buy up because Messi, of course, should be a right wing. Even if he's a center forward, you might see other Barcelona links go up. You'll see like the young special cards go up, maybe like Usman Dembele freeze cards like that could rise up a little bit instantly on Friday when that SBC is released. But I will say um, if it's a really outrageously priced Messi, um, you probably won't see much more of a long, a longevity on a rise on these cards. It might just be a quick up. People realize, oh, the SBC is too expensive. So then they go and sell their link investments that they just made, but I'm not going to be link investing for this. Um, and unless it's somebody like, you know, you're 100% guaranteed you're going to do player of the month messy, then uh, that's the only reason that I would say you want to buy a card like Dest if you're going to have Dest and Messi in your team for the rest of the year. So that's kind of what I have to talk about, the Messi SBC. I feel like it's going to be interesting to see what EA does with that, and I'm curious to know what they're going to price it at, what the rating they're going to give him. And uh, yeah, I'm, really, I'm honestly really curious to see that SBC. Now, of course, he did not get into Team of the Week this week, and we did have a brand spanking new Team of the Week that was released today on FIFA. I want to talk about that just for a second. We're going to see these guys get packed a lot during rewards. Lewandowski is 524. That's actually crazy because I sold one today at 670K. I bought him during the, the fourth or fifth hour that he was out in packs. I got him right here at about 600K, sold him at 670, and now he's back down to 520. That was a really nice flip right there. But this Team of the Week is just pretty average, right? There's a Gareth Bale, which is dope. A wants to watch upgrade on him. No Goretzka this week. We were maybe even looking for an Usman Dembele. We did not get that. This Boadu card is 100,000 coins right now. I think he is massively overpriced. He's going to be dropping 100%. 
I know there is a lot of links right now to the Eredivisie, but I think this is one of those cards that people were just trying to snipe up and keep extinct. Even though he has a lot of hype, I expect him to drop down with rewards today. And if he manages to stay extinct at 100K, uh, that's crazy. But um, I think that car will start to drop off here before rewards since they haven't updated the price range. And that's just one thing people like to do this year is they like to snipe informs and make them extinct first day to hope that ea updates the price range and then they can like artificially increase that card's price i don't understand but it's something that we've seen a lot of this year and i think a lot of trading groups are trying to do but the next thing we got to talk about is these freaking what if cards man these what if cards are they going to get supplied at rewards today i think they are a little bit but honestly, after rewards, I do think you will see people going and investing into some of these as we head out. People who have completed their Icon Player Pick Pack already, if they're going to do it or if they're not going to do it at all, they know that these are live cards and live cards get invested in a lot to go out of packs. And they usually do pretty well out of packs because again, a lot of these cards look like they're going to get upgraded. Smalling is literally at the lowest price he has been since the first hour of Lightning Rounds when he came into packs because of the Roma uh, non-clean sheet today. 662. I do think you'll see some of these guys kind of bounce back. Sancho, I have my eyes on. Papu Gomez, I got my eyes on. Odegaard on three goals. Le Melu is on four goals right now. He All he really needs is Nice to score two more goals in their next game. And this guy is getting upgraded. I believe he's on four goals. Yeah, they scored two goals in their first game, two goals yesterday. So he's on four. Again, Sancho is on three. And Babu got upgraded. And this is the point I want to talk about right now. This Mbabu card, just like we had with the headliners, and the headliner streaks. If you search for Mbabu under the what if filter, uh, you're not going to find him, right? Mbabu is not going to show up unless they like somehow fix this, um, which I don't think they would have. This is not like the what if uh, upgraded card, right? You can see on the quality, it doesn't have the two arrows as white. So this is not the updated version. So if you want to find Mbabu on the market, you have to do it as the old way we used to do before all these quality filters in FIFA in, and you have to actually search by the special quality and then use a price range. So Mbabu got a price upgrade tonight. They doubled his price range up to a million coins. He dipped down to about 440K, went to 480 and is now back down to 450. So he's fluctuating a lot. Yes, this card does look absolutely cracked, but also uh, a lot of people I think are scared to buy into this because rewards is coming soon, but also there's a lot of hype to try this card out because he does look pretty cracked. It does look pretty good. And it looks like he's getting bought up around 440,000 coins at the moment. People are saying they want to use this guy at center back, which is crazy. Um, but I guess you could. That's just the meta this year. Fullbacks at center back. But um, I think I originally thought this guy was going to be above 500K when the price range was updated. But my thoughts on that quickly faded after we had the mid prime pick release earlier this week because that really just destroyed the whole market. And um, I, I did think that this guy was going to drop after they updated the price range, after we saw all that whole, the whole market stuff go down with that mid prime. So I'm not surprised by this at all, um, but it is nice to see our first card upgraded. And it is nice to know the time frame that they upgraded these what if cards on as well. Um, they did not upgrade Marcelo. Now Marcelo clinched his upgrade earlier yesterday on Wednesday with a clean sheet. Uh, but he did not get upgraded. So we will look to next week, a week from yesterday. So six days from now is when we will see the Marcelo upgraded most likely. And hopefully through the weekend, we see a couple more of these cards upgraded as well, whether that's because of clean sheets or because of more goals being scored and stuff like that. So that's one thing we're really watching for today and one thing we want to keep our eyes on. I know that there's a lot of hype right now, again, on this SBC right here. It's the mid or prime player pick. A lot of you guys are maybe even waiting for rewards, right? If we take a look at the indexes really fast, I'll use this tab to look at the index 86. We did see SBC fodder drop off a lot today and it's still kind of going down until rewards. But here's the thing. We talked about this on stream today. I even talked about it in my video yesterday about Thursday flipping. I actually think that when rewards hits, yes, you will have some pack supply, but the people that will be, there will be people that want to invest because more supply will be coming for high rated. Unless EA juice rewards, this is what I see happening. And EA can juice rewards whenever they want, right? That's, that's a variable that we live with every single week. They could juice rewards and that would maybe drop some fodder down and then it would rise back up as people go and complete that um, mid prime pick SBC. But at rewards time, you're going to have people investing in fodder because they think it's going to go up because people are going to complete that SBC. And also people that will be opening their rewards, getting SBC fodder and being tempted and wanting to go and finish having more coins and more fodder in their club to go and finish 
that player pick SBC. So I've actually bought a few fodder players. They're on my transfer list right now. I bought some 87 Yorises uh, because he was down around 50,000 coins and he was 62K earlier today. So that's why I bought a little bit of him. Sterling at 67K honestly looks pretty low too. I'm honestly a fan of looking into the stuff before rewards and taking a bit of a risk because I know there's still a lot of demand post rewards. The only thing that worries me just a slight bit is that um, there's still maybe the amount of people that are still waiting to do this SBC is less than I originally thought. But I think right now there's still a lot of people that are wanting to do this SBC and they're going to be doing it after they get their rewards or after they get coins from opening rewards. So that's why I'm invested in a little bit of fodder because I saw how high it went yesterday and I feel like the hype here isn't 100% done. And of course, uh, one thing we have to think about today is we should get you... Um, not UEFA marquee matchups, but regular marquee matchups, that could impact the market a little bit in terms of SBC fodder with supply. So that's one, it, it kind of squishes us into a short time frame where um, usually marquee matchups brings a decent amount of supply. So unless EA drops some sort of player SBC today or another pack SBC, like an 85 times five or some sort of pack like that, um, with a new set of marquee matchups coming out, you might see fodder dip back down later in the day today as well. So that's one thing to kind of be mindful of and to be, uh, I guess, watching out for today on the market. Now, of course, I'm looking at a couple icons, a couple of these other out-of-pack special cards that I think could look pretty nice for a small rise after rewards. I'm not expecting a big rise, but since so many people are like scared to invest right now, there might be just normal people buying some teams to, or buying some cards to play with, and uh, nobody's going to be wanting to buy those cards or to invest in them, so you'll literally have like no competition on the market, which, you know, that creates a scenario where you could um, make some Thursday flipping profits. So I'm going to keep an eye on some really, really meta players and some really rare cards as well. As you see me looking at Kane, I love trading with this Kane card, uh, that Rashford card. I'm a big fan of watching him fluctuate. So we'll watch some open bids before rewards. Maybe look at some icons, see what happens. Watch this, uh, this team of the week as well. I, I do feel like that Lewandowski that I sold today at 670. I know that was very high and it was a one-time thing. Um, but I think this guy is pretty cheap. I honestly do. Lewa's informs are always cheap just because he isn't the most meta card. But uh, this guy being 520k before rewards already, uh, even though this should drop further, kind of makes me curious to see what's going to happen after rewards or even during rewards as people open their team of the week packs and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep an eye on this card. Obviously, it'll be very rare. He will fluctuate a lot. He's Bayern. He's one of the best strikers in the world. So he does have some demand. But one other thing to be on the watch for today would be potential, and I'm going to say it, and I'm not, I'm not saying it's guaranteed, but if EA are really trying to take coins off this game, maybe they don't drop a player SBC today, but maybe they bring back icon SBCs. You know, they used to do throwback Thursdays. That used to be what we had on Thursdays and FIFA was icon SBCs coming back on Thursdays. I'm not sure if they're going to do it today. It's been like, what, 52 days since we had icon SBCs released? Crazy. Um, hopefully they do release some of those. We'll see. It's There's potential for it, not guaranteed. Right, but every every day further we go beyond having no icon SBCs, there's just a little bit of potential. So we'll see if that happens today, um, or potentially one of those pack SBCs, or something like that. Also, EA have they're kind of all over the place sometimes with the second week of promos, but definitely keep an eye out for a potential loading screen today with new promo players on it for What If Team Two, because we are expecting a What If Team Two, and. Um, that loading screen, if they were going to drop one, could either come at the content drop today on Thursday or possibly uh, two to three hours afterwards. Sometimes they're doing those delayed loading screens. So definitely keep an eye out for that as well. But of course, this was our new objective player from yesterday. I wanted to shout this really fast. They're already on two goals, right? Six goals to upgrade this card. Now, I don't. I would think he would get a plus two just like all the other ones. But since he's a silver... Is the boost any higher? Like EA, if you wanted to boost this to an 81, like or a 78, I don't know, that'd be cracked. So I think it probably goes to a 74. Um, but Leal is already on two goals after their game yesterday, so that card is out for a few days. But if they keep scoring, it might have already been upgraded before the objective ends, which is kind of crazy. And if you want to do a last second buzzer beater Caputo objective, which expires on Friday, um, Sasuelo I think right now is on three goals. Three or four goals. Uh, it might be actually just three because they played Napoli today and it was a 3-3 game. So 
they're already halfway to getting upgraded this card to an 89, which would be nice SPC fodder for sure. So that's the video for today, boys, right? We talked about that player of the month Messi today on Thursday on the market. It's going to be a wild one. There's potential to make a lot of coins. It's going to be really interesting to see where that demand is at. But I think people seeing that this SBC has dropped about 100K in value, themselves getting rewards and um, being able to do this or finish off this SBC, I do think since it's an SBC, you kind of have to like work towards, right? This is almost an icon SBC that you have to like take three to four to five days to try to craft your way towards it or to get enough players to do it with rewards and coins and stuff. So I think you will see a decent amount of demand for this SBC again, because again, the picks have been interesting, right? Some are cracked, some are not cracked. So that's going to be a lot of what goes on today. But of course, Player of the Month Messi tomorrow, we're going to keep an eye out for that. And hopefully we get some cool content today on Thursday that we can interact with as well. But if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.